proteins. Hey there, welcome to Five on Food. Today we're talking about proteins. How to get them into when you're hiking, whether it's a day hike, which can make it a little bit easier, uh, or a uh, backpack trip, short or long, which takes a little bit more of a challenge to get proteins in there. We're gonna talk about that, and not just the meat proteins, if you're a vegetarian or you're trying to cut down on some of the meat, which also sometimes meat proteins can always come with sodium. For a guy like me, I'm supposed to be watching that sodium intake, uh, uh, things like that. Um, there are other ways to get proteins without always dealing with meat. But we are going to talk about meat real quick because it is five on food. I can't drone on. So a lot of the uh, the main stays, shall we say, for both backpacking, day hiking, are things like summer sausage. By the way, I have to do the quick disclaimer. Anything I show, I am not endorsing that particular company, product, that specific brand. That's just what I have in my local store that I, that I grab. The price is right, so I get it. Um, and that's what I use in hiking. It's not an endorsement. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies in any way, shape, or form uh, or anything like that. So with uh, uh, that said, you can get the chicken packets. Can kind of tasty. This one is just straight chicken. But then you can also get the ones that are flavored. As you can see, this is classic barbecue. So pretty good. You can kind of, you know, uh, I've done several backpacking trips where I've, I've paired something like this together with another specific type of thing because that would go really good with barbecue and, you know, kind of make a theme for that meal without having to buy the actual themed backpacker meals. That can be quite expensive. Obviously, things like tuna they also have the flavored tuna so again you can do those kind of theme things or again if you're on a longer hike and things it's just something different it's not just plain tasting tuna that i just throw on like on a tortilla or something like that or on a bagel this has a little taste to it things like that and they come in these really nice packages that are easy to pack um, they are not dehydrated so they're a little heavier than like any kind of dehydrated food um but they're tasty they work well obviously this is also not dehydrated things like that uh, especially for day hikes um, you can do little things like even a can of, of sausage um, these are vienna sausages um, they're just easy it's, it's not that bad for a day hike if you're just going to carry this for a lunch pop that open you've got a nice uh, a protein thing Spam is always a staple for a lot of, I know there's a few out there, oh, I can't take it, I can't do spam. Okay, and that's fine, then don't do it. There's a lot of other alternatives I've already mentioned, but a lot of hikers like spam. I particularly think spam is, is pretty good. Um, one caveat, you can also get this in you know little packets that are this size of only the regular spam. Um, one of the caveats is some of these spams, if you're using the flavored ones, this particular one is the Portuguese sausage flavor. My wife found it for me. Um, this is not a spam you can eat raw, or at least me. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the taste of it raw. Cooked, it's really good, um, but it's not one of those ones where regular spam. I, I don't have to cook it if I don't want to. If you're cold soaking, or you're you're, you're going stoveless and things like that, certain types of spam will work. Other types maybe not. So you're going to have to experiment. But you can get the regular, just straight up regular spam in the little uh, packages like this. Um, for backpacking and things like that. Now, moving on to uh, uh, non-meats things, you've got choices of all kinds of different nuts, cashews, you've got peanut butter that you can throw in your thing. One that one of the other viewers of this channel has turned me on to is hemp hearts. He's actually given me a couple of recipes to do uh, with hemp hearts. I'm going to be doing those on the channel eventually once I get get really going especially for the summer and things like that but this is a good source of protein that is non-meat based so you have a lot of those things a lot of different nuts there's a lot of different seeds flax seeds are another one um that you can substitute or get in your 
in your diet that are easy to carry, easy to, to package up for backpacking even, and things like that. And they don't have to be meat-based, but there is a great way to get protein. And why do we worry about protein? Protein is, is, a, is a big source of our body's energy. It really gives a hiker uh, uh, that, that energy and that power they need. It helps build up muscles and things like that when the muscles are working hard and tearing themselves down when you're hiking and things like that. Protein helps build it back up and helps give you that, that, that energy, that long-term energy, not the quick energy that, that a carb can give you, but that long-term energy that, uh, um, that really helps your body get going. So proteins in your hiking, that's as close to five minutes as I could get it. I'll catch you later.